Guess who's back? Schmicky's back. Schmicky's back. Schmicky's back. Schmicky's back. <laughs> yeah! You don't make sense, Mick. <laughs> right. Oh, oh yes, Mandingos. Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show. Tonight, I'm back out on another stealth camp with the one and only Little Schmidt. Yes, I. Ready for this one, Mara? Oh, yes. It's gonna be a good one, guys. Yeah, we're gonna do a stealth camp right next to the Nissan car plant. There's loads of lads who work in this factory. Over the last few months, they've been saying, Mandingo, can you please do a stealth camp next to Nissan? Well, tonight's the night we're doing it, guys. It's heavy, it's heavily. <laughs> Get your words out, Chris. There's lots of security. That's what I'm trying to say, man, dingoes. <laughs> Bad start of the video. Yeah, there's lots of security, guys. You've got the security hut. Sometimes there's like a security car hanging around, which I can't see at the minute. So that's a good thing. We're gonna take a mooch down to the main entrance. So you can see we're telling the truth and we are at the Nissan car plant. I'll see you legends when we get down there. You better believe I will. Ah. Oh. Where's he gone? Mick, this way, mate. <laughs> I thought you were going for a job interview there. <laughs> Air matron. Okay than my fan sexuals. We're just making our way down this public footpath, which is at the side of Nissan, which you should be able to see there through the trees and the bushes. And we're just looking for a little spot to camp. There's a few gaps here, but there's gotta be somewhere decent to put the tent. When I'm by myself, it's easier. Oh, Madron, another glove. When I'm by myself, it's easier because I only need a tiny little space to put me bivy. But being the two of us here, we've got the tent. So we want to find a nice little spot to put the tent. Somewhere to go for a slash Gordon. You know what I'm talking about, man, then goes. Aye. And like I say, it's heavily cameraed this place. So there's going to be CCTV all the way down the side of the building. You get too brave, you know. You try and get through the fence onto their land. You're going to get in trouble. You're going to get moved on. And what's the point of that? There's going to be no video. So we're trying to find the best spot we can get as close to the Nissan car plant without getting in trouble. Okay, guys, we're going to have a look in these bushes and I'll bring you back. I'll bring you back when it looks like we found a decent camping spot. You know it makes sense. Here we go, folks. Looks like there's a break in the fence here. Let's check this out. Left here, Mick. Hurry up, because there's cars coming down. Let's see what this is like. Yeah, this looks decent for the tent. Get over here, Mick, out the way. I think this is going to be it guys 
because we've only got about one hour left and it's going to be pitch black we haven't really got time to to go walking all the way around the factory looking for a spot as you can see four or five meters through there you've got the you've got the pathway we've just walked along and then you've got the the busy road the main road here you've got cars in the car park they're not the new cars that came off the the production line so it's obviously the cars of the the workers inside the factory so it's not the it's not the safest spot we've ever had Mick we're a little bit exposed any walkers going past there of me and Mick are sitting talking a load of shite after we've had a few waskies they're going to hear us so we're going to have to just sit and chill and just enjoy our waski in silence if you know what I'm talking about mandingos and then we're going to have to be super careful that no one returning to the vehicles hear us we're outside you know we're outside the fence we're not on Nissan's land but if security get wind of us camping here they're gonna be wondering what we'll do you know for all them know we could be really dodgy and we could be looking to break in and it's only gonna take one one phone call at the place and we're gonna get moved on so I anyway this is where we're camping this will ding dang do for these two mandingos you know it makes sense guys and I will bring you back when we've getting the tent set up oh, oh yes Right. Lice. Cheers guys. We've got everything set up now. And we're just chilling out for a few minutes. Nice can of Thatcher's blood orange. Oh. I'll bring you back in a couple of minutes guys. And I'll show you mine and Mick set up for tonight. All our food, all our drink. <laughs> This is going to be a good camp. I can feel it in my bones. It's going to be fantastic. It always is when little mix out. You better believe it is, man, dingoes. Oh, right. Bring it back in a minute. Okay then folks, time to show you mine and Schmick set up for tonight. Here we go. I'm on the left as usual there. We've got the foil mat down. It's like a wide one. So 
it's wide enough for the both of us. I've got the Berghouse sleeping pad there, two season OEX sleeping bag pillar. I've got me hat and gloves there for later in my warm coat. Mick's got his little OEX sleeping pad. He's got his sleeping bag there. Bin Diesel in the corner for all our shite. There's my Baghdad. I've got all like my electricals in there, you know, like my power bank and stuff like that. Okay then guys, take a look over here. If I were main male, we've got a can of this age, Prince's Chicken Catsick Kerry. Oh, oh yes, you can't beat a bit catsick on a Saturday night. You better believe it. With that, we've got some Uncle Ben's rice. Oh, oh yes, you heard me right guys. And you know who's back in town. Uncle Bensky Bates, international playboy, bunny bar insurance, a British cash price far too high, a lifetime chain award to rich and famous after party people in the house of love, shark, baby shark attack on Bondi Beach in Australia rules football. Oh yes, you know it makes total sense. Ricicles. <laughs> what else have we got for snacks? We've got a packet of that each. Brown's Bill Tongsky. I'm going to have the Perry Perry, the good old Kevin and Perry. Schmicks on the barbecue. Check out the link in the description, guys, for Brown's Bill Tong. If you click that link and remember to use the code MANDINGO to get your discount, you better believe it. What else have we got? Snacks. We've got some of this. A German sausage selection, different flavours. That should be nice. We all know that little Schmick likes a bit German sausage in his mouth. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that's nearly everything covered. Oh, we've got some biscuits as well. Shorties. Sorry, Mick. Sorry, Mick, I'm not taking the piss. That's just the name of the biscuit. Shorties. Yeah, we've got two bottles of water there. Mick's got some water as well. For when we've got dry mouth in the morning. We've got a couple of caramel lattes. Starbucks. Good old Jimmy Starbucks. That's it for food, guys. We've got a can each of this left, because we've already had one each. Thatcher's blood orange and we've also got a lovely top quality bottle of Waski Glenfiddich Fire and Cane oh yes we will certainly do a review on that that was actually given to Mick from a Blot Outdoors fan but someone that actually loves little Mick what was the name of the guy that gave you it Mick? Mark Lincoln Mark Lincoln, thank you so much for the whiskey for us to share here. Thank you for the so much for the car as well. Thanks so much, mate. Lovely, very nice. Thank you very much, Mark Lincoln, my man friend. Me and Mick will certainly enjoy that, and we will definitely do a world famous Waski with you. Coming later on. Okay then, guys. I'm now going to enjoy my can of Thatchers, and then after that. We're going to open the bottle of Waski. And that's when things start to get a little bit messy. You know what I'm talking about. And you know what makes complete, total sense. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why, you're some Pierce Brosnan. I forgot to show you these when I was showing you the food. Also had a steak video on Nasty H. Mm. Very nice. Before I forget, before we start drinking, I want to give a big shout out to all the lads and lasses who work here at Nissan. There's loads of people, loads and loads of people who support the Blot Outdoor Show, who work there. 
and I always get lovely comments off them. So, uh, I, that's a hard place to work. The good grafters, we know all about that. We work, we've always worked in factories. I've never worked there. You used to work there, didn't you? Uh, yeah, you see. Mick used to work at Nissan, on a, just like for an agency. And a line trailer, I was a bit too short. <laughs> reach the, put like clips underneath the car. You were standing with tiptoes, I couldn't reach. Hmm. That's how I didn't get the job, really, there. You tried, though, didn't you? I tried. You give it a try, just wasn't a bit. And then I've got Mick. I've got make a job in the factory where I work. How long have you worked with me now? About six years? Nearly six years. Nearly six years. It'll be six years next month, is it? November. Middle of November. Good grafter, Mick. Hell of a grafter. Always have been. Always doing overtime. <laughs> aye. So, I once again, a massive shout out to all the lads and lasses who work in Nissan. Especially Gaz, our mate Gaz who works there. Cheers Gary mate. Thanks for the support my man friend. Gary's been watching a long time. He's been watching since the channel in the early days when there wasn't many people watching at all. So yeah, cheers Gaz and cheers to everyone in the sand for watching. Much appreciated. Lice. Time for a little chess warmer. Yes. Very nice, lovely little miniature, little schmick bottle of red wine. <laughs> little I miniature, little schmick. Right, it is. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Really nice. Little schmick size bottle of red wine. Oh yes. For me and the human dorsal finley queer. Kindly given to us from Brogan and Carl. Cheers, Brogan and Carl. Cheers, Brogan and Carl. Thank you very much, my man and woman friend Dingoes. <laughs> yeah, nice little bottle of red wine, just to add a little bit sophistication. Spit there again, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> sophistication to the Blood Outdoor Show. You know what I'm talking about, man, Dingoes. Mm. Very nice. We've still got loads of waski left, but we just thought we'd just have a nice little, little <laughs> slurmy words already. You can tell the whiskey's kicking in, guys. Just to have a little, a little break from the waski, a nice little treat with a red wine. I really am talking nice shite though, aren't I? Wine dingo for the little man dingo. The two of us are talking complete shite now, guys. The waskies kicking in. The blood orange ciders and the red wine. Oh, stick around. Because later on, we're going to be talking loads more shite. Oh, can you see how cold it is? Oh, it's getting really chilly now. But this is what we like. 
we were just talking off camera. We prefer it when it's icy, don't we? Yes. Some people don't like it at all. I know our good friend, Cowboy Chris, his channel's doing really well, isn't it? Well done, Chris, by the way. Your channel is proper mint, and so is young Chris's. Well done, Chris's. Yaka Travels. Chris's. But I, I was talking to Cowboy Chris during the week, and he hates the cold weather. I think he's planning on doing some hot tent camping over the winter time. That should be a good watch. You better believe it will. But me and Schmick, we love the cold weather. We love the icy, cold, freezing weather. There's just something about it. Sitting outside in the freezing cold, wrapped up, having a, a nice waski to warm the chest up. When you get up in the morning, you step out for a slash garden in your socks on the on the solid frosty ground Aye, it just makes you feel alive it just wakes you up you know rather than just being in the house all the time or sitting in the pub or doing the same thing over and over you know what i'm talking about manding goes i me and schmick we are serious stealth campers <laughs> you better believe it two rights little dingo aye anyway while we're sitting here talking an absolute crock of shite as usual we might as well answer a little question and have a bit crap on with you absolute legends who tune in the blood outdoor show when i've done the camp i think it was about three four five weeks ago i can't remember about four weeks ago i think it was i've done the e-bike camp and I think I mentioned on that camp an idea. I just said it at the time, you know, when you're just sitting there having a drink, talking shite. And I said I might buy like a um, like a cart, like a buggy, you know, like a kid's buggy to fasten on to the back of the e-bike and bring little schmick along for a little ride out somewhere. You know, another e-bike stealth camp with Mick riding along behind. Mix well up for it, aren't you? Oh yes. <laughs> you better believe he is. Mix game. He'll, he'll try anything once. Oh made from that. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. So what we think we've just been sitting talking off camera. So what we're thinking about doing is because loads of people are saying, you've got to do a Christmas special, man, Dingo. You've got to do a Christmas special where you're dressed up as Santa and little schmicks dressed up as an elf and all that shite, you know. So what we're thinking is, I, I've got the e-bike. Well, I've got two e-bikes. Buy like a cart or a buggy. I don't know what it's called. You know, like a kid's buggy that fastens on where Mick can sit and I'll tow Mick and... We'll do a Christmas wild camp with me on the e-bike and Mick getting tagged along behind. You know what I'm talking about, man, Dingo. That sounds like a good plan, Dingo, little Dingo, doesn't yeah, it? It does, definitely, definitely. definitely. <laughs> Mick's not bothered. As long as I bring cans of cider, beer and plenty of whiskey, this little legend, he'll follow me anywhere. You better believe he will. <laughs> Uh, you can tell we've had a few drinks now because we're just talking absolute crock of shite, can't you? But that's the Blood Outdoor Show, guys. You better believe it is. Anyway, we're going to get this torch off because we're pushing our luck. Because we're really surprised it's a Saturday night. But the amount of workers that's been coming in and out of Nissan this time of night, we thought, we didn't think there'd be anyone working. But there you go, it's just one of them factories where it's 24-7, if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, me and Schmick, we're going to sit and we're going to finish our bottle of wine off. Mm. We're going to turn the camera off for a good 45 minutes, something like that, and we're going to sit and chill out, and we'll bring you legends back very soon. You better believe I will. Right. <laughs> Why are you some Clint Eastwood? <laughs> Legend. Oh, 
information. Oh, yes, Mandingos. You know what time it is? Waski time. Waski time. You better believe it is. We've got Schmick, Glenn Fiddick, Fire Kian. Fire Kian, that's right, Mick. Glenn Fiddick, Fire and Kian. We've had a few already, as you can see. There's not much left in the bottle. I'm smashed. Little Schmick is seriously smashed because mm -hmm. obviously he can't handle the whiskey, the whiskey as good as me. We Definitely haven't not. we haven't recorded anything of her nah. for like an hour for a good. So if you're wondering how comes the look so smashed, how comes the look so drunk? Because you get a load of people in the YouTube comments and they'll say. Why? They were, they were all right one minute, and then the next, they look so wrecked. Because we're not recording every single thing, you know? We haven't recorded anything for a good, a fit, wait, about 55 minutes. Obviously, like an hour, you know, nearly an hour. And we're just sitting there we're saying, how well then? Let's do the world famous We View. You know what I'm talking about, man, Dingoes, and you know it makes total sense. And this is what we've got. Glenn Fiddick, Fire and Cain. Kindly given to us from a legend by the name of Mark Lincoln. Mark Lincoln. Mark, Mark Lincoln. Lincoln. You absolute legend. Oh, oh yes, you Mark know Lincoln. You are, Mara. you are. I know you're watching. I know you're watching. That's right. You're watching this channel. You'll love it. Right. <laughs> Too right. You heard it you with the schmixter. Mark Lincoln is a brought out Dodge Show legend. He is. You better <laughs> believe he is. Cheers, Mark, mate. We are now going to review your Waski lice. Well, let's get this popped in. The old famous cup dingo. Man dingoes, go on, Schmick. You pour that in there, my little man friend dingo. <laughs> get that poured in there. Howe, don't be shy. Your mum wasn't. Err. Go on, Schmick. Look. Is there? That's the style. Oh, yeah. Yes. There we go, guys. There's enough in there. As you can see, the last dregs of society. Just enough for the wee view. That's all we need, guys. Anyway, let's get the old big around yet. Oh, Mick. The call is firing Kane. And I'm getting a nice, oh, like a burnt wood. <clears throat> a burnt wood smell. Mmm. Yeah. You get your little schnickerable in there, my little man friend Dingo. What are you getting? I was getting like a, like a, I'm stating the obvious, it's called firing cane, so it's like, it's almost like I'm cheating, but I'm not. I'm, I'm getting, getting like a burnt burn, wood. Burn, fire in that, burn, fire cane. It's a, like a, like a burnt wood smell, but it's really warming, like a heat up the nose, without being like overpowering. If you know what I'm talking about, man, goes. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Rice. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Lots and lots of spices. Oh. <sighs> Warm in the old chest, Dingo. Chest warmer, right? Mm-hmm. I can see. Lovely, though. Lovely chest warmer. 
a very lovely chest warmer. I can see why they've named it Fire and Cain. I don't know what the Cain thing means. We haven't researched it. We're not cheating or anything like that. But wow. What an unbelievable oh, chest warmer. A bit oak, oak in it. On a coal yes. camp. Give me a taste, Mick. Oak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mick's right. Mick is totally right. He's getting used to these Waski reviews now, isn't he? If you look back on the earlier days, you can see he was probably following my lead and he was kind of seeing what I was seeing. But now, he's given his own thoughts. Sorry, Mick. <laughs> mm. And he's right. There's a massive woody oaky taste in there and I would say a little bit pine as well like a lovely Aye. pine taste Aye, with down, eh? lots of Aye. spices that is really warming up the old chest dingo man dingoes as they say in the southeastern region of Mongolia you better believe they do oh. you get any more flavours man dingo? Yeah. Loads of like pine, pine, woody, yeah. little schmicks on a fart night. You know, makes sense. Mm. There you go, Mick. You finish that last bit off. Oh, now I'm looking to get a bit deeper in it. I'm looking for some more intense flavors. And what I am getting. Mm. You know when you get like a piece of licorice in your mouth? Oh. The two of all this. And you chew. You know when you get like a, a lovely, like a, no, a cheap one. Not like, not like Harry Bow. Oh. And that cheap shit. You know when you get like a lovely quality line, piece rather. of licorice. And you chew it. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lovely... Sweet aniseedy licorice, aniseedy bars. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like a lovely aniseedy licorice flavor and the aftertaste. Now, for me, that is beautiful. That takes me back to being a skid. I mean, a kid, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, guy. That's lovely. I tell you what, I'm gonna give it a good score now. Uh, good so, Glen Fiddick, Fire and Kane, kindly given to us. From Mark Lincoln. Lincoln. Yeah, Mark Lincoln. Once again, cheers, Mark. Cheers, my Mark. man, friend, I'm sexual. Friend, eh? I'm going to give that a massive, not the greatest wask you've ever had, but I tell you what, better than most I've had. A big fat nine. Yes, a big fat juicy nine out of ten dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes. You better believe it. What's your score, Mick? I'll give that 8.8 out of 10 man, man they go. 8.8 and a 9. So average score of 8.9 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. What an absolutely fantastic score. And what a great Waski review. Anyway, that's it guys. That is the end of this week's Waski review. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious stealth camping ah, lights <laughs> two lights shit care shit Oh yes, little schmick. Bedtime. It's bedtime, mate. Oh, matron.
Yes, mate, son. That's this style, mate. That's this style. Yes. <laughs> Why are you so weird and sleep? <laughs> Where I go. Sorted, mate. Yeah. No, not really. Not really. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we're going to cook our food, mate. We're going to cook our food before we get snug. Oh, Mason. Oh, the glove of self. Oh, love. Oh. <laughs> Mm, yeah. Yes, I. Little Mickey Somerville. <laughs> the small town boy. Rice. Well, guys, that's Mix Cat Sick Kerry in there. We'll let that bubble away for another couple of minutes and we will add the Uncle Bensky Bates egg fried lysicles. That's certainly going to be a meal fit for the little Mandingo. Oh yes. And then Mick, after the food, it's sleepy time. Definitely. You better believe it is. <laughs> oh, yes. Rice. Oh, oh yes guys, this is what I'm talking about, a nice lovely hot meal, just before I climb into my sleeping bag, little Mick is out for the count, he's already had his meal, mm. I always make sure with Mick has his first. He's had exactly the same as what I'm having. Cat sick curry with egg fried lysicles. Uncle Bensky. As usual, guys, I will never have mine first. I always make sure. Cook for Mick because I love that little mandingo so much. 
and make sure Mick has his meal before mine. I've cooked mix in that. Mm. But then I've poured his into a plastic bowl, which he has done a little bit munch and glad back on. Then I've cooked mine in the same bowl, but I'm nothing flash guys, I'm nothing special. I'm just eating mine straight out of here. And this is very nice. When you're camping, wild camping, stealth camping, any kind of camping, when you're out in the cold, it doesn't matter where you eat it of this or a plastic bowl or whatever, it tastes a million times better. I know you kind of see what I can see, but poor little schmick. He is out for the count. We had two cans of Thatcher's Blood Orange Cider. So we drank the same there. Then we had a couple of shots of Waski, the Glenfiddich Fire and Cane, which was really nice. Mm. And then we had a miniature bottle of red wine each. Mm. And then after that, we got back on the waski and we'll have more shots. So, yeah. Schmick is an absolute trooper. He has matched me in the drinks tonight. I've got to be honest, I have had nothing I've had no more to drink than what Schmick has. Drink for drink, me and Mick have went tour to tour tonight, as they say in the Dudonski. But it's caught up with him, the poor little bugger. He's out for the count now. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, guys, while I am enjoying this lovely, jubbly chicken cat sick with lice, mm, I've just dropped it all down my leg, the old doctor leg. What a clumsy bugger. Yeah, I want to take this chance now to say a massive thank you. Mm. To all you absolute legends who have supported the Blood Outdoor Show over this last week. You're so kind, guys. You're the best of the best, even though I don't wear a vest. Oh, matron. Mm. Like I see it over and over again. Just watching the channel, guys. All you absolute legends watching me now, sitting here doing a bit munching glad back on some cat sick curry. Each and every one is a legend. If you can leave us a thumbs up, well, that's fantastic. And if you can leave a comment, that's even better. I do read every comment and I will try and get back to as many people as possible. But all you absolute total legends who have supported the Blood of Dorsha this last week and bought me a coffee, well, this one is extra special thank you to you Mandingos. There's your names down there. And down there, guys. Really do appreciate it more than anything in the world. Ricicles, you are the best of the best. <laughs> you better believe you are. Mm. Well, I'm just finishing off now. My chicken catsick 
Curry. Oh, cat sick. Oh. <laughs> what an idiot I am. Yeah, it's a nice meal. Chicken katsu curry, that's what it is. Princess chicken katsu with Uncle Bensky Bates International Player Boy Bunny Boy Insurance with British gas prices far too high and lifetime achievement awards for the rich and famous after party people in the house of love shark, baby shark attack on Bondi Beach in Australia rules football, ricicles, licicles. Mmm. I am the king of talking shite. You better believe I am. And you know it makes total sense. And we are going to sign out now, guys. And I will see you absolute legends. First thing in the Morgan. The coffee time. With biscuits. <coughs> <laughs> Say in the morning, right? Good morning, Mandingos. Nine o'clock, and that's one of the best sleeps I've ever had while camping. Slept like a baby. I've been awake for like the last half hour. <coughs> Just lying there, relaxing. But now I need to get up because I'm bursting for a slash Gordon. Little mix still out for the count. <laughs> I'll leave Nick a little bit longer. I'm going to get up, I'm going to get a quick pee, I'll start and pack a few things away, get a little bit of a head start, you know what I'm talking about guys, aye, I'll let Mick have another half an hour's sleep, okay the manding goes, I'm going to get outside, get sorted and I'll bring you legends back in a minute, <laughs> absolutely fantastic, right. Mandingo. Morning. Okay then Mandingos. That's me and the human dorsal fin all packed up. <clears throat> My Baghdad is there, ready to pull me back. The own the old bin diesel I should say. With all our shite in. Mix just packing his little chair away. He's been having a few minutes sitting down because he's been throwing his guts up. <laughs> I was going to record it and I thought, no, <laughs> I'll let Mick spew his guts up in peace. Feeling a bit rough, mate? <sighs> bad head, isn't it? Poor lad's got a bad head and he's been sick. But that's just the way it goes, manding goes on the Blot Outdoor Show. Anyway, as you can see guys, that's where the tent was. Leave no trace and all that, carry on. We're gonna make a move for it. Any minute now, straight out there, back along the road, down towards Nissan. And I'll bring you legends back when we're making a move for it. Lice. Here we go, guys. 
time to make a move for it and get out of Dodge City. There's the sea and the doodoink. That's it. What are we at? Right. Me and Mick. <laughs> right folks, that's the end of this week's stealth camping video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a great time. Poor little Mick. He's as rough as a badger's ass. How are you feeling Mick? Still rough. Still rough. Well not smooth, but <laughs> rough and certainly not smooth at the same time. <laughs> anyway guys, if you've enjoyed that video, please give me and Mick a big thumbs up. Leave a comment, I do read everyone and I'll try and get back to as many people as possible. And make sure you tune in next week guys for another food review Friday night video and obviously another stealth camp next Sunday. Oh yes, you know it makes sense. See you next week guys. Right. Oh, uh, I'm